Hi, welcome once again. Um, let's say if you're going to replace a part, a component, and you ordered it. Let's say the sensor or a module, the colors of the wires do not match the original. The first thing you always do is, whether it's a mechanical part or electrical uh, component, always match one to the other, the old one to the new one that you just ordered. Whether it's rack and pinion, whether it's a sway bar, whatever it is, especially electronic devices, you have to have the old one compare it to the new one. Now, like I just mentioned before, let's say the, the, the old one, you took it out of the connector. Let's say those colors do not match up with these. So, for example, let's say this is a, um, a, a sensor over here. Now, a camshaft sensor. Let's say over here, blue and white is one. Other one is brown and yellow is two. Another one is black and yellow striped three. Now let's say instead of instead of it should be red, blue, and white, like the colors of the flag. Instead of that, you get other colors. That doesn't necessarily mean it's not correct, the right part. What you're looking for is that the not the color of the wires, but that the, the pins themselves should correspond to the correct the correct um indication of what it is for example let's say pin one is the five volt line let's say point uh two is the signal back to the computer let's say three is the ground those should correspond to what they are with the old one now the colors really don't matter because current doesn't care what colors the the wires are current just cares what is the five volt line the signal and the ground so when you get it, there has to be some form of indication of the sensor or the ignition module or the, or the computer. There has to be some module of telling you what the connector is, what the wires go to. So even though the colors might be different, if the red one, the red one goes to the 5 volt line and 2 goes to the input signal and 3 is the ground, it's okay, even though in this one it's the ground actually is number two. But it's okay as long as you know where the wires are going to and you can and it's connected to the old one in the same manner. Okay? So in other words, the old one can be uh look over here, uh blue blue and white, and the other one can be a red. Doesn't matter. As long as they go both go to the five volt line. It's okay. There has to be some paper or something to tell you what they are connected to. If there is no identification for the wires from the package or whatever, and you don't know because it's different wiring, I would return it. There is a way to figure it out from using a multimeter, but it's too complex, too technical. I don't want to go through that. But anyway, <clears throat> sometimes you can have the correct wires, but the wires might be in different positions so instead of the blue should be number one it's in number two as long as you know what number two is going to so let's go the way it is now two should be in this one it should be ground brown yellow is ground let's take it for that but instead i get the new package instead of a brown and yellow i get a i get a a, a, a black wire and it tells me the indication is it goes to ground that's good as long as I know what it goes to, that's the main point. So just pay attention to the packaging, to the symbols that it tells you. The colors are not necessarily the most important part, but the, the, where it goes to is the, is the most important part. Now let's go to something, a body control module over here that we spoke about couple of times the body control module as we said is is responsible for accessories accessory means the headlights meaning meaning the the, the uh, door locks and other features uh, anti-lock brakes so therefore if you have problems with these car with many accessories they flicker or they go wild or or they do things they shouldn't be doing sometimes you need to reprogram it but even the starting system is related to the body control module. As you see over here, the crank ignition vol voltage goes through, if you go over here, it goes through the start 
ignition switch. So we need also not only the PCM module, which is the most important to start the car, but we also need the body control module communicating to the PCM module. So the, again, they're talking to each other. They are emailing each other. Once he gets this ignition switch of voltage, 12 volts, he tells the PCM, I got the 12 volts. PCM, do me a favor now. Give a ground to a relay to start the car, to the starter motor relay car. So number one, he gets his signal. He's happy, he gets the 12 volts. When you start it, you put in the start. He says, great, now I'm acknowledged. I will respond to the PCM module, which is another module. And I'll tell him, well, I got what I wanted. I'm going to give you what you, now give me what you, what I'm asking from you, which is a, a relay, ground, to start the motor. So this is not only for accessories, I was asked this, but also for the cranking also. It, body control module is also involved. Sometimes they don't communicate. You might have a problem with communication, a body control module, PCM module. So many things can go wrong, obviously, today with the electronics. The, like I said before, the, the today's cars, they come out, modern cars come out. The more... The, the, the modern cars today, the more electronics they have, the more sensors they will have, the more modules they will have, the more they will have things going wrong with them. Today's Toyota Camry is not the same like it was 20 years ago. You can ask any driver from Uber or Lyft, he'll tell you his dashboard is like a Christmas tree. It always lights up. There's always something telling him a warning light coming on all the time. It's not the same it was 20 years ago when they went 400,000 miles. But Anyway, another thing to pay attention to, X1 over here, let's say, X1 over here is the connector. They're all numbered the same, so it's easy to make a mistake when you're looking for the, for the, for the wire. One, two, three, four, five. If you go to the next connector, X2, X1 is this one on top. X1, X, I'm sorry, X2 over here is also the same pin number, so it's a little easy to make a mistake to go to the wrong point even though they are different colors but still first you find the connector x2 if i'm looking for x2 and i need the pin for pin 8 for the headlights i'm gonna go to x2 pin 8 headlights if i need x2 uh um um uh, pin 17 for the headlights on, on x2 i'm gonna go for this one and so on and so on just like you have this one you see over here, this is X7, and this is also another one, X5. So very important to go to the right one. Remember, they all have the same pin numbers, even though the colors might be different. As, as you can see, they are responsible for the horns, the wiper washer uh, system. <clears throat> so many accessories are controlled, obviously, and commanded by the body control module. Again, so... If you have a, a module, let's say I'm replacing a module, any module, whatever it is. Let's say over here, a HVAC control module. You're going to have a white and light blue wire for those two. Let's say you got a new one. This is part of another module. See this dotted line? That means there's another part of this module that's not on this page. Could be 10 pins, 12 pins, whatever. This is only part of it. We're only using two pins for the air conditioning. Just like power train control module. How many pins do you see here? One, two, three, four. Four pins. We know a power train control module has about 200 pins. Where's the other 190 pins, right? Well, they have nothing to do with the air conditioning system, which we're involved with now. So therefore... It only shows you what has to do with the, the pins that have to do with the air conditioning system. But we but always be aware of that. So let's say let's say for HVAC, let's say I ordered this module. <clears throat> when I got it, I went to C eleven or D eight different colors. As long as the indication in the packaging tells you that what this is stands for, if this goes, if C11 goes for class two and D8 goes to um, air conditioning request, then you're okay. Doesn't matter that, it, that this might be the blue, this might be red, whatever. As long as they go to the proper location in the module. Remember, 
There's many, many components in there. So I hope this answers some of the questions. So please go to my channel, General Electronic Schematics for Odo. And my other one, Automotive Electronic Schematics by Joseph, where you'll see more hands-on videos. Thanks for watching.